Hello everybody, this is Krista with Magnolia Ridge Farming Garden, and it is dark outside. It is late. I am tired. I'm a mess. <laughs> but we have bad weather coming in, so I'm sure everyone has heard this massive Christmas storm that is coming in. Um, we are supposed to see rain starting Wednesday night and through Friday, and we've also got this massive cold system coming down. So... I have been preparing the farm for this massive cold and wet. Our chickens um, are already, you know, in mud because we've had so much rain. So I went out today and cleaned out their entire coop and put, you know, tons of fresh shavings in there to help combat the, you know, the mud and the effects on their feet. And we will tomorrow put some, um, covering up on the big windows to reduce any wind they can get through there while leaving a little bit at the top for ventilation. But I'm going to my dad's tomorrow to get a big brown bell of hay. And what I'm going to do with that is put it down in their run to help um, stay on top of all that mud. So they will have somewhere that drains really well to walk. Um, so that their feet don't get in that really cold mud and get frostbite and stuff. So, and then I'll use some of it to put extra bedding in the barn for the goats as well. So, because I'm going up there, I want to turn a fail into a great thing and take my dad a coconut cream pie. So, what I mean by a fail is I was making cookies earlier and I don't know if you will see this video first or the cookie video first. So as you can see the coconut cookies because I used the coconut flour they fell apart. So I put them in the freezer in a bag and they uh, I thawed them out like two days ago and they've been in the fridge. So they are you know nice and crumbly and kind of stale so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these into a crust for a coconut cream pie. And I need to get it made right now so it can chill in the refrigerator overnight so I can take it to Dad's tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do, and it shouldn't take long, so let's get started. So I'm just going to mash this up. Put my microphone on me. It's so sensitive it like catches me breathing sometimes but um, I'm just gonna kind of mash this up really good so I don't want any big chunks and we'll get out this to do it And while they kind of have like a sandy texture, almost like a pecan sandy, and they fall apart, um, I guess because I froze them and then put them in the refrigerator, they almost are like a stale quality now. So I don't know how this is going to work, but I didn't want to waste all these really great organic ingredients so I've got some melted butter here and we're just gonna pour that in and mix it around and hope that melted butter kind of helps it bind like a graham cracker crust would and I may need some more butter All right, let's add a little more butter And I am just making this crust up as we go. So we'll see if it comes together or not. 
This may be another epic fail, but we're going to try it. Let's see if it's starting to... I think it's starting to... Woo! Make a mess. Let's try this. might actually have enough to do a second one. Let's see. There we are. That'll work. So I'll just double my recipe. Unfortunately, I have enough ingredients to do that. All right. So our pie crusts are ready and set to the side. And you can use any pie crust. You can use a regular style pie crust. You can use a graham cracker crust. You can pretty much use anything you want. If this turns out really good, I will put the cookie recipe I used, including like the fail part and you know what you could do to fix the cookie, but you could still use the crumbled cookies either way for your pie. So we have our pie ready and now we are going to make our pudding to go in it and I need to grab another can of coconut milk out of the pantry. I'm actually glad when I bought these, I bought two because I couldn't remember how much I needed. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay out some more butter because it's supposed to be room temperature. So we need two tablespoons per recipe. So I'm going ahead and cutting it so that it can thaw out faster. Okay. So now we're ready to get started. So we need four large egg yolks, and I need to get rid of this butter. Per recipe, so I need eight large egg yolks. Oh, these are large, large. So there. And let's see, these are pretty big. So I'm going to trade some of these out. Let's see, leave that one. And we'll trade these out. And those are my largest eggs. Okay, perfect. I think that will do us. And let me get a bowl for those. Actually, I want to do it over this one because I want my egg yolks. Come on, let go. That ball. Now, we're going to add cornstarch, and we need a quarter cup, but since we are doubling the recipe, we are going to need a half a cup. I 
And this is a quarter cup scoop, which fits into this container nicely. And then we are going to whisk this together. Just like we did when we made our chocolate pies. Basically, any recipe that is creating a creamed pudding type thing is going to be this method. I've not seen one that's a different method anyway. If you have a recipe that does a, uh, like a pudding or a cream pudding with a different style, besides boxed instant pudding, that doesn't do the cornstarch and egg yolks, send it to me. I'd love to try it. All right, so we've got that. And now we are going to get our ingredients that are going to go on the stove. So we are going to whisk together the can of coconut milk, which again, we're doubling it. So now it's going to be two cans of coconut milk. And we're going to do one cup of half and half, except again, we're doubling it. So it's two cups. This is a half scoop. So it is going to be four of these. And then two thirds cup sugar, and I may have to get some more sugar out. This is a one third cup scoop. So one, two for the first recipe, and I'm gonna do more. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, so that is two recipes worth. And then we need a pinch of salt. What do I do with the salt? There it is. I'm gonna tell y'all, I am tired tonight. That coop was a lot of work. And then we are going to get this on the stove and bring it to a boil. So I will see you over at the stove. Okay, so we've got on high, whisking together. And what we want is for it to come to a boil. For about two minutes. So it takes a few minutes for it to get up to a boil and you want to keep whisking um, so that it doesn't, the milk doesn't burn to the bottom just like those chocolate pies again. And so you want to see bubbles even through whisking. All right, so we're starting to get the bubbles form as soon as I take the whisk out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tempering the eggs, which is adding a little bit of your hot liquid at a time because you don't wanna add the eggs and have them scramble. So 
So this brings them up to temperature. And that is going to boil over. Steady stream. Whisk. We don't want scrambled eggs. Whew. And be careful because it pops and it is hot. All right. <clears throat> And you want it to cook for like a minute. And you want to try to get any lumps out and get it super smooth without getting burnt. Which I find if you whisk it really fast, your bubbles don't have time to pop on you. So now that we have our pudding mixture cooked and smooth, I don't see any egg clumps or anything in there. Now we want to add our butter. And we want to do a half teaspoon of vanilla, or I'm sorry, one teaspoon of vanilla, but since we are doing two recipes, oops, that one's out, we're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla. And then a half teaspoon of coconut times two is one teaspoon. And then one cup shredded sweetened coconut. And again, times two. So two cups. And hopefully I have two cups. This is that quarter cup scoop. Okay, so my battery actually went out here on my microphone, I believe, but we're almost at the end, so I'm just going to do a voiceover from here on out. So I had just enough, I think I was a little shy on the coconut, or I was like right there at it, but it was enough, and it had a nice mild uh coconut flavor. I would probably put a little more coconut ext extract and coconut in it uh, if I were to make it again. Now the one thing I did not end up doing and I'm going to go ahead and put it here because I know uh, at the end I had every intention of getting up the next morning and making the whipped cream topping for this to take it up to dad's but I actually did not uh, because I realized I didn't have a way to transport it in these pie dishes with the tall whipped cream so um, I just poured it in the pie dishes that night and that's what I'm showing here and you put the saran wrap 
over it and make sure the saran wrap is fitted tightly down onto the pudding so it doesn't form uh, a thin film over the top. It keeps the pudding from like creating a crust, so to speak, and put it in the refrigerator and let it set overnight. And then in the morning, I decided against the whipped cream. And so I just took it up to dad's like this and we tried it and it's really good. I actually think having the coconut cookie crust gave it more coconut flavor than just the coconut pudding would have. So it, it was depth of flavor because it was that coconut flavor layered into the pudding as well as that crust. And everybody was like, oh, the crust is my favorite part. So that those coconut cookies had a great flavor with the coconut flour. The texture was just wrong. They were way too dry. So putting the extra butter in there and forming the crust and putting the coconut filling was actually really, really good. And I think these would have been even better with that extra layer of whipped cream on top with some added coconut flavor to that because then it would have been, you know, just another layer of coconut in there. So I will um, write this recipe up and include the original cookie recipe with the changes I had made. So you can decide how you want to do that. But either way you go, I think using the coconut cookies as a crust, either with or without the coconut flour, is a good idea. Because it just gives it more depth of flavor and makes it very coconutty. And so we really enjoyed it. Um, and with or without the whipped cream on top. So I will include that that whole thing. But thanks for watching today, guys. And we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> All right. So I did not do the whipped cream because I didn't know how I would get it up here without smushing it anyway. But here we go. Dad's going to be our taste tester for our coconut cream pie on cookie coconut cookie crust. Terrible. You don't want it. Okay. <laughs> has it got good coconut flavor mm -hmm. okay so is it a winner recipe yep okay 